Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna be playing on Barb 330 move speed. Barbarian build is not a joke, and pretty much in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make it extremely effective. But first thing first, let me remind you, only 31.2% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of broken videos. By the way, recently we've made a new Discord community server and currently we have 800 new people. If you want to come hang out, make builds and uh, discuss just, I know, pretty much everything or just hang out with the community that we've built so far. And um, yeah, so anyway, let's go back into today's video. So this is what we have for today's build. Pretty much what you're going to be aiming is you got to get the good pair of boots and you got to throw a rage with the treacherous longs. Rage will give you a 10% move speed bonus and the treacherous longs will make it a lot more effective. So pretty much you're going to be staying at the 330 move speed range for a lot longer. With a decent amount of buff duration, well, you will be running for at a 330 move speed for quite a long period of time and that's basically what you're going to be aiming for for the build we're going to be running the combination of potion chugger robust crush to break doors treacherous longs um rage and achilles strike pretty much this is the very common build that i usually like to play this will make the rage last a lot longer and pretty much this is really a perk that is very slept on usually people choose something else but in this video we are trying to aim to stand at the 330 move speed for as long as it's physically possible and for this purpose the treacherous longs gonna be extraordinarily um effective well anyway let's go into the build crafting i guess so pretty much now we're gonna quickly build the kit i'm gonna show you how i build the current kit and we're gonna hop in the game directly right now i have a plenty of kits of a similar stats and um yeah i personally don't really need that <laughs> like but uh if this if you may find this helpful sure thing i'm going to show you the buying process as well anyway let's get to it brave hunter pants with action 922 gold sounds about a good deal to me we're gonna buy them right away dream smile rings let's check the price out 600 gold per piece with action speed looking pretty decent let's just buy a couple really quick this one will do perfect now we have two green smileys we want to be able to attack fast especially when it comes to building kit that uh, will make you really fast so now we are just gonna look for cloak with more action we're just gonna buy the first one and um, since we're kind of on budget we're just gonna buy a helmet really quick with more action 500 gold oops i want to look for dexterity looking for two here we go 500 gold that's just better than action <laughs> that's like you get 20 percent action you know instead for the same price okay bar dish legendary quality oops oh here we go additional weapon we're looking for 71 plus uh something here we go um where the fuck is it? <laughs> Alright, since we're kind of on budget, we're just gonna buy one, you know, and not care. Yeah, let's not bother too much. If you want to make it really effective, aim for physical damage and um, physical power. But uh, I don't really focus too much. You just need to hit around 308, 310 move speed. And with rage plus treacherous longs and decent amount of bug duration you will be able to be at 330 move speed for almost 10 seconds which is absolutely insane and if you have a decent amount of action this build in particular will make your class really damn strong and for the most part you can afford running this build for as cheap as like four to five thousand gold it just right now um i don't really bother too much how much gold i spend i just buy stuff really quick and i just go play with it and if i die oh well fucking time to do zero to heroes <laughs> you know what i mean but anyway i think we already have a kit on hand let's hop in the game and let's go clap some chicks all right in the first fight we're gonna have a little fight with the bar when we had a cape it means he chose this if you have a cape it means you're a giga chat and there's absolutely nothing gonna save you well unless you kill me though but um that's hopefully not gonna happen <laughs> anytime soon. Oh, by the way, speaking of a Giga Chat, looks like we have another one. Okay. 
All right, so we are having an even trade here. One on one, half HP. Gotta make sure that I get my resources back. I don't really want to risk it. One throw. I'm gonna slightly walk away. Use another potion. Gotta get my HP back. I will recommit the moment when I feel like I have enough resources. There was another player down to the north, and um, I don't really want to deal with him. So for now, we're just gonna focus on making sure that we have our HP back. We're gonna walk to this doorway, and we're gonna recommit. The moment he pulled his weapon out. <laughs> Basically, yeah, there is a slight delay between when you have your weapon out and you don't, so... And here we have a legendary ranger. Well, I never said I'm gonna be friends with him, so we're gonna run him down best of abilities. I'll make sure that I'm prepared to full extent and I will inform him that I'm not friendly. Since he already shot me, he knows that I'm not his homie and I'm gonna try and attack him. The homie does hurt a little and um, he have some cheese, so I do need to be kind of careful. I want to see if this homie will try to attack me to see what um, his playstyle is kind of based on. The way he moves around, like the way he shoot arrows, like basically just by watching at the player you could actually see what the homie is made of. Some people just never miss a single hit and um, you gotta be aware of those and some they can't even Blend a shot on the target that just stands still. <laughs> and um, I had to decide which kind of, which type of ranger that was, you know. There was way too much hit in the middle. I decided to go directly to the prison room because usually that's where the player spawns are at. And since we have a one player spawn directly to the north and directly to the south, usually that's where you're gonna come across players that are fighting, like here and. Um, yeah, I decided to wait out the homies with um, opportunity in mind that um, either Rogue or Barb could come across. Ideally, it's better be Rogue because the Barb is completely naked, while the Rogue on the other hand has both a cape and looks like he is fully committed to a fight. We're just gonna wait it out a little bit until the homie either make a full circle and come across us or... At some point, we might as well just run at them. It all depends on um, how it's going to be like. Two minutes later, the rogue decided to circle around. The barbarians started to push way too much pressure, and the homie had no other choice but run directly at me. After two hits, the homie ended up getting his ass clapped, and basically, I get to loot the homie for free. After letting the barb know that... Um, he might as well have all the stuff because he kind of led the homie to me. I took some of the good stuff and told him that he could loot the rest. Yeah, you can have all the back. You you can have all of it. You can yeah. What's up, brother? You can have the whole kit. I'll just I took I took meds. I took meds and I took I took meds and boots. I'm good. We have a ranger here, by the way. Gotta be kind of careful. Make sure that I don't step in a fucking trap. What is the homie doing? I'm curious. Ah, the homie stepping in his trap. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh shit, there's a rope. There is a fucking rope. If anything, I'd like to fuck with that rope. Yeah, know what I mean. You have a rope right next to you. Be careful, don't die. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I see him. He's, he's been cool. That ranger was just a fucking wild man. There is a bunch of stuff left that you might as well take it if you're interested. Hey, mister, you're gonna have it all back. I'm gonna go. There is a full kit in the inventory. Alright, take care. Oh, the goat, buddy. Thanks, man. Take care. Uh, close the door, if anything, because I'm still interested in killing that rogue. Alright, so now we have shared our intentions. Let's go kill the rogue, I guess. Or at least try to. He may have teamed up with you, but I never said I'm teaming up with that rogue. <laughs> I went middle to kill the rogue, and... um. <laughs> I never said I was friendly to a rogue. I tried to hunt him down. I put my best effort up until the bar, who seems like recognized me, tried to actually yeah, assist away, me. Oh shit! Hey, hey, brother, stop, stop, stop. If everyone is teaming, let's just not team. Let's just all stay friendly. It's fine, it's fine. We don't need to fight at all. We'll just split our directions. If everyone is teaming, well, let it be. Fuck it. Everyone is teaming, nobody's fighting, there is um, no need to pick a side, might as well just go and extract. And um, yeah, no, I don't want to choose uh, 
barbarian side or rogue side, the best choice would be just to leave this place and go into the next game. We are full on loot anyway. And um, I don't really want to promote teaming. Because I feel like it's kind of sucked. I used to do it, but I don't anymore. Okie dokie, so there is three very, very geared players in the lobby. One of them is the longsword fighter. Another one is the homie in the blue gear. Um, Yeah, that's the geared homie. Oh, this is the guy that I'm interested in killing. Yep, this is the guy. The full blueberry kit fighter. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go mess with this guy. No, I'm not necessarily interested in fighting that guy, but this guy for sure. Oh, you piece of shit. What's the homie doing? Was he like hurt or something? Maybe he was, or maybe I do a lot of damage. 50-50. Let's see what the homie has. I do believe I inspected this homie. Oh, yeah, this is the guy. Armor, health, health, health. Yeah, that's that's the homie I was interested to kill. All right, let's not spend too much time. Let's quickly loot everything up. And let's go try kill the rest of the lobby. There are still at least three very dear players that um, I'm very invested to kill. All right, we have a rogue here. I don't want to let him know that I can break doors. So I can try actually kind of be a pretentious bitch here. <laughs> not overly pretentious though you know just a little gotta fucking make him think that um he's in control of the fight and um yeah all right all right gotta get a little bit of control one throwing like a fucking bitch i missed the homie tried to ah <laughs> Oh, so he did know that I actually could break doors. Yo, well, that kind of saved me a second. Like, legit right fucking there. Okay. It would be actually funny if he would get shot by that. We're gonna keep chasing until I come across. He's probably gonna go in with here. Yeah, chase your burden. Usually people on ropes, they go behind the corner, they turn in this. And, um, same thing happened here. Someone just DM me on Discord. <laughs> Homie has a little bit of true dexterity, nothing crazy. Alright, so I heard the wizard here and um, we're gonna try and find him. That's the wizard. Wizard with the fireball. Alright, let's see what the play is. Oh. Oh, well, that was... Probably did a lot of damage. I don't want to use my Francesca X because I don't have many left. I'd rather hit him once with Spartish. That's my favorite style. <laughs> Alright, brother. Peace out. As my good friend says, good luck in the next game. Alright, we better not die to these fucking mobs. Let's go loot the homies, see what he has. Oh shit, looks like the homie killed someone geared, god damn. Yeah, nah, the homie is a threat, legendary boots. The homie is the giga chat, holy cow. Bro, there's just no way, the homie killed one guy and he's just camping. God damn, I really wish I get to fight this guy, that'd be so sick. Oh well. Interesting, looks like mobs are dead here. Someone turned all the light off. What the hell is going on here? Shit is terrifying, by the way. Okay. More dead mobs here. Okay. Looks like someone brought attention of all the mobs, but didn't bother killing them. Let's see what we have here. Alright, oh, we'll just break the door. I hope there's no rogue in this, but it shouldn't be much of an issue. We're just gonna wait out really quick the rage plus Achilles. And we're gonna go and investigate. Right. Oh. You bitch! <laughs> Fucking ranger, bro. Holy cow. Yo, this strat is some... Okay, bro. Okay, dude. Fucking, you deserve a credit. Piece of shit. What a toxic strat, man. Holy cow. 
The homie put a trap down, waited until I step in it, woke up with the fucking... <laughs> no, I would have been dead there. If he wouldn't miss, I would have been dead there, but um, I just ducked it. And um, yeah, no, he fucking... He lost because of that. I've been so fucking dead. And look at it, he has nothing. The homie got nothing. And I almost died. One trap, one hit with a spear. And the multi shot would definitely fucking send me back to the lobby. Holy cow, nah, that's a sick move, dog. Like, listen. <laughs> These fucking rangers are the rattiest creatures in the game. Alright. What do we have here? Cleric. Nah, I'm not gonna kill Cleric. I'm not interested in killing him. Only for trolling, yeah. Oh, actually. Wizard? Yeah, I'm interested in killing Wizard. JG withered. Alright, let's see what the homie has. Nah, cleric could go. He doesn't have shit anyway. He doesn't have a cloak. If you don't have a cloak, well, it is what it is. Oh shit, the homie is geared. Hell yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's homies mining fucking ore. Let's give him a little heart attack. Micro heart attack. <laughs> Oh, he's mad. He's not happy. Oh, fucking goblin. Okay, I, I, shoot, bro. I'm fucking on half health. Yo, at this moment, that rogue could actually be a threat. Goddamn, brother. Well, there's really not that much to do. We might as well go and extract. I haven't really seen anyone killing anyone or doing anything really. So, oh, we have. Oh, baby. That's my favorite outcome. Oh, a PDR Rondel Buckler fighter in a full metal plate fighting a bar. What could have gone wrong? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he was trying to kill a team and he ended up dying. It is what it is. That's the reality. You try to mess with new players. They hurt you just about enough so that I will be able to. Oh, shit, the homie is geared. Move speed, physical damage, max health. Yeah, nah, the whole kit is pretty good. I'm not even sure what I want to take, because the whole gear set is actually quite chunky. Nah, that double is actually still better. But yeah, we're just gonna loot it up and go extract, so simple as that. I'm generally surprised I haven't come across anyone, but um... Oh well, it is what it is. Oh, wait a second. We have a Tommy's fighting here. You know what, let's kill this guy, fuck it. Even though he is, uh, does have shit. We'll just go after the rogue right after. Okay. You went in this? Oh, piece of shit, holy fuck. The homie went full invest. That was a barb? Yo! I thought it was a rogue. I legit thought that was a fucking rogue. That was invest barb? Holy cow, man. That's ridiculous. Nah, that shit is insane. So we have a barb to our right, we have a ranger to our left. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let's go see what the homie is doing. Oh, we have someone here to right. Oh, that's a rogue. Great. Let's kill him first then. Killing other barb is actually gonna take some effort. Killing other rogue doesn't take as much. Let's see which pass the homie will take. I miss. Oh. I also dug the wrong direction. <laughs> Should have ducked left. I ducked right. Alright, he didn't want in with here. For a second I thought he would. The homie just decided to die. I mean, understandable. I don't think you're allowed as a rogue to actually do like that, but um, was it 330 move speed barb? Yup, I mean, there's nothing that could be done. GG, Mr. Rogue. I think this is geared homie. Oh shit, there's another guy. That's a different ranger, by the way. Damn, dog, what the fuck? Hell yeah, the homie is geared. Full set for a rogue, definitely not bad. Max health, power, true. Max health, oh, we have a warlock. Homie decided to die, well, that's not on me. That's completely on him. It's gonna be harder to kill him here, though. 
because you will be able to do the jumps and that will just make your life harder. I mean, my life harder. <laughs> oh, that was a miss? Disappointment. Oh, was unintentional. Ah, oh, GG, brother. Okay, well, minus Warwick. That's good for us. We have one less Francesca X. We're still doing pretty good. Four Francesca X is actually more than enough to take another fight. Oh, shit, there's another guy right there. Bro, the homie doesn't miss a fucking shot. Holy cow. Yo, is this homie... How? Holy shit. Yo. That's insane. How is he doing that? I thought you could actually... Wow, that no, that shit was crazy, bro. If he knew how low HPA was, he probably could have just deleted me from existence. Nah, this homie is a fucking dead eye shot, you know? Never miss. Because, um... In order for him to do that much damage, he had to headshot me twice. <coughs> Bitch. <laughs> I'm about to run out of all meds. Sheesh. Okay, I don't like this shit. Because I do believe he can kill me in two hits from my half health. Two hits with a rapier, I die. You know, when I'm at half health. Yeah, we we'll might as well just heal up. You know what? This is the plan. I'm just gonna run the fuck away from here. And then if he decide to chase, I'll catch him off guard somewhere. Alright, I think this is the time. He was reloading his weapon. Okay. Nah, this ranger is a fucking stressful motherfucker. <laughs> he was not missing his hits at all. Like, every time I tried to push him, which happened four times... He just nearly deleted me before I even got any close. I was like a fucking target practice for the homie. He was just fucking lasering me down. Now, rangers like this are fucking... Oh, shit. That's actually pretty good. Yep. That's actually decent. Oh, chill, brother. Alright, we're gonna wait out for Achilles. He have traps, right? Yeah, he definitely fucking have traps. Bro, this ranger is so fucking committed. Alright, well, the ranger died, by the way. GG, bro. Yo, Nemo. What's up? Thank you, brother. Let's fight now. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, I, what am I supposed to fucking answer him? <laughs> Getting fucked by a ranger? No, I'm gonna be honest with you, this ranger destroyed me, like, every time he had a chance to fucking land a hit, he did. And I was super low on HP each and every time I got a hit, and like, what am I supposed to do, dog? <laughs> I run at him, I got a hit three times, I'm less than half HP, and he just pulls out Rapier, and, uh, yeah, that would be fucking good always. Bro, what is the homie doing? Alright, brother, if you need any loot, there is a corpses, a bunch of corpses that I wasn't able to loot because I ran out of space. If you're interested, go ahead and loot all of it. Okay, cool. Hell yeah, the homie is taking some stuff. Majority of the people that I suggest to go and take the stuff, they never do. Okay. Oh, we have a druid. Let's go fuck with him, I guess. Alright, my homie. Oh, Mr. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I missed! A shot like that, I missed? Goddamn, brother. Alright, well, we're gonna kill the trench really quick. Before we fully commit to a fight. I wanna know what he's doing. He didn't use the rage on bear, so he's probably gonna do it. Yep, he did that. Gotta stay away from that. He's probably gonna turn into a different form. He pulled his spear out. Okay, let's see if we can get a hit. Free hit, maybe? Nope, missed. That was a hard hit to land. He turned into red. That was a hit. Headshot. Body shot. GG. Oh, we have another guy to roll it. That's very convenient. Let's see what the homie is doing there. That's a naked guy. I'm not gonna kill him. Oh, no, no, this is the geared guy. This is the fighter. Oh, okay. So, if you want to know how to kill a PDR plate stiletto, I'll try to explain in this moment. 
This homie is very geared by the way. And also he runs a really cool build. He runs a stiletto plate fighter build. No, you. I'm gonna be honest, that's a really good fucking build. You can deal with barbs, you can pretty much deal with other rogues because you have more stats. You just gotta have adrenaline rush, sprint, and you gotta stack damage. And yeah, no, you're actually gonna be pretty good. I kinda wanna make a build like that with Stiletto and go and try- Bro, he fucking doesn't miss ever. Alright, one hit, two hit, and we walk away. So, we did some damage to him, right? And basically, we're just gonna quickly heal up. Since we can heal up faster than this guy does, we will recommit to the fight right after it. Pretty much, we're gonna pop another bandage, use another potion, and we should be able to be healthy enough to commit to a fight again. And then we're gonna do again, we're gonna do one, maybe two hits. I do believe I will be able to kill this guy in three hits at this point, because I already hurt him enough so that he's now full HP. We might as well try to throw some Francesca axes, but it's not mandatory. I do want to keep my kill list to make sure that I have it for a fight. For your safety, you might as well use um, Potion of Protection, but it's not mandatory. It's important, but not mandatory. One hit. Oh, he actually died in two. But I could have hit him third time because you could see I'm more than half HP. But I would assume I hurt him enough um, early on to kill him in just two hits. Anyway, that was a good fight. GG, brother. And I hope I was able to slightly help you on how to deal with PDR play dagger fighters because they are quite a big threat to any barbarian I'm gonna be honest it comes from my experience and um, after playing for quite a while with Achilles in rage now I can actually come up with a plan at least on how to deal with those players but still against very passive tanky players it's impossible and that could be done but um, against aggressive players, you know, yeah, you could actually link a couple hits, come back, reset, repeat the process. You know what I mean. Let's see what the homie has, because I forgot to loot him, by the way. Okay, yeah, no, the homie has gear set, by the way. But uh, I'm already kind of full on loot, so I'm not that invested. But still, definitely not bad. We're going to take some stuff. Bunch of purples, rings, decent neck, decent boots, decent cloak. Alright, 3 minutes in, normally we gotta come across someone, we have 2 player spawns here, at some point we actually have to find someone, usually we always have a player who's gonna camp this area, oh, mobs are dead, well that's good to know, homie is fighting looks like, alright, let's put some pressure, yeah. homie has heater shield, and I already fucked up, I hit him once, fuck. And I'm the one who's getting sandwiched. <laughs> Fucking ranger got deleted straight up. Sent out from existence. A random headshot fucking completely annihilated. Now it's time to delete a fucking fighter as long as I don't step in the trap. Or get sandwiched because I'm not full HP. But um, I'm just gonna heal up while trying the potion and chugger. Oh, holy fuck, we have a bug here. Right, I'm gonna sandwich here, but no, not really. I want that fighter to go and break the doorway. Then I'll push him. Okay, he did that. And now I'm gonna push him. And I wanna... Oh, fucking didn't mean that. Uh, bro! Okay, good hit. And one more. And now we switch places. Now I'm close to the doorway. I'm gonna break the door. And now we have a barb who's gonna be in the middle. And the barb just one shot at that part. I'm just gonna quickly kill the center pit. And then we're just gonna go quickly kill barb. Um... The usual, like, yeah, so I'm just gonna heal up this centipede kind of protecting me in a way, but also fucking being an annoying bitch that I actually have to deal with. Alright, let's heal up first thing first. I got three fucking stacks. I got hit by uh, Francesca X. I want to step on the bottle. Alright. I'm doing pretty good so far. Half HP. Don't really need more HP than that to kill a barb. One more hit. How oh, is that? Should you? Okay. Alright, so we let's see what the fighter had. Because it took quite a 
plenty of hits to actually kill him. He was um, blocking pretty well, but most of my hits were blocked by a fucking ceiling. <laughs> Fighting with Bardish and low ceiling is not an option, and yeah, you probably want to stay away from that. But yeah, if you play with Bardish, fucking sit in the middle, and that's where you want to fight. Don't fight in the very... Oh shit, the home is actually quite geared. Don't fight in areas where you don't have enough space or where you're gonna hit walls or ceiling. Yeah, no, that would completely fucking reset you and put you in a big disadvantage. Alright, looks like there is a homie murdering the lobby with the dagger. And, um... Oh, there is a mob, by the way. Might as well just extract here and, um... Oh, the rogue is here, by the way. And Fry and Suska. And one hit. I thought it would take two hits, but uh, I guess I did really hit him hard. Maybe he wasn't full HP. But listen, the homie was trying to rob my ranger <laughs> that I forgot to loot, by the way. Let's see what the homeboy has. I'm already full loot, by the way. I don't need anything else, but... um, Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. We are having a problem. There's too much stuff. Bro, where is my fucking backpacks, dog? I want to be able to loot all this cheese, you know what I mean? What the heck? Yo, I want a fucking very accessible and not very expensive backpacks. Or ability to transfer over the loot, because right now in this game I already lost like around 2000 gold on a barb, around uh, 2000 gold on ranger, and this stuff on rogue I can't pick either? Like, dog, what the heck? Uh, bro, cloak was true. Physical power, oh shit, those are expensive by the way, action plus physical power. Fuck. Whatever, it is what it is, let's just, you know, we might as well just go extract, even though we've left probably like 5,000 gold in this raid, but uh, whatever, it's not that deep, not a big deal. Let's just go into next game, you know, it's not about the loot. Well, it is about the loot, <laughs> but also about the action and about the opportunity to take those fights. Yeah, anyway, let's go into the next game. Holy cow, brother, this homie is so fucking geared. It's like, I could kill him, but if I fuck up, I die. It's like, I miss one hit, I die. Oh, well, we're still gonna try it anyway, because you know what? Bro, the whole fucking lobby is dead, what the heck? The homie is in the middle already, by the way, so we really just fucking went to the middle for duel. <laughs> He's gonna have his souls, and, um, yeah. He's gonna, probably gonna BOC, demon form. Yep, let's just walk away from here. We're gonna close the door. He's gonna lose a little bit of HP. I gotta get him to, like, half HP, and, um, as long as I don't fuck up, I should be fine. I gotta keep an eye out, make sure oh, I get a free hit here. Wait, what did he just do? What the fuck did he just do? He he used the wrong button? You fucking... Wait, did he... He, he got hit by the mob, right? Okay. Bro. You fucking kidding me. I should have double key right there. He would have been dead. Oh, shit, brother, he was one health. Nah, GG, bro. That was a good fight. Basically, the difference between winning and losing is there. I had to stop backing away and run directly at him. Holy cow, nah, that was a good fight. Listen, even though I died, I thought he got hit by a mob. And basically, the reason why he was able to outlive that is because he used his um, perk to heal up. And because he was able to heal up, that basically would, um, you know, brought him all his all HP back. But I thought he got hit by a mob. He didn't. That mob basically cancels out the HP regen. And the thing about the demon form, the more health you have, the more HP the demon's gonna get back. Because it's based on your maximum amount of HP. So he stabbed me like four times right after that. And he won the fight. I should have completely backed away. That's one. Or... I could have keep trying to attack him when he messed up his fucking um, demon form. I would have won that as well. But you know what? It's okay. So if you want to know how I could have played that better, I could have simply back away, got my kill strike, and fight him again, and I would have won. Yeah. But um, or if I would have landed one hit, 
that um, original hit that I missed somehow due to the lack of fucking range or something. But you know what? It's okay. At the end of the day, it's all about the fun and all about the challenge that you're gonna encounter in the dungeon. And even though I ended up getting fucked, it was still a really good fight. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's Timo. Hop in our Discord if you're still here and come hang out with us. Anyway, it's Timo and I'll see you in the dungeon.